Good morning and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Monday, February the 20th, 2023, and this is episode 3,999. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode, Him. Stay tuned. So, Bruce, are you talking about a song, a hymn, H-Y-M-N? No, I'm talking about H-I-M, Him. Listen to this passage from Romans chapter 11, verse 33 through 36. Some people call this a doxology. Listen to what it says. Oh, the depth of the riches of both of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. For who has known the mind of the Lord, or who has become his counselor, or who has first given to him, and it shall be repaid to him? For of him... And through him (laughs) and to him are all things to whom be glory forever. Amen. Let me read that last verse again. (laughs) For of him and through him and to him are all things to whom be glory forever. Amen. In this section of Romans, the Apostle Paul moves from theology to worship. He pictures God's wisdom and knowledge as being like a a bottomless gold mine, riches without limitation. Some see knowledge as the accumulation of information, while wisdom is understanding how to correctly apply that information. The last century has seen an unprecedented explosion of knowledge. But without a comparable increase in wisdom, that's why the earth still lives under the cloud of nuclear war. Although this generation has tamed the atom, it has not been successful in taming the human heart. However, God is not just a bunch of information. He also has wisdom, so he knows exactly what to do with his infinite knowledge. Paul says that God's ways are past finding out. God's wisdom and knowledge make it impossible for limited, finite creatures like us to compartmentalize him. Queen Victoria first public appearance after she had ascended to the throne of England was to go and hear Handel's Messiah. It's a tradition to stand during the chorus. Hallelujah, 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 for the Lord God omnipotent reigns. But her counselors instructed that as queen, she was to remain seated. However, as the choir sang out, and he shall reign forever and ever, King of kings and Lord of lords. The young queen rose to her feet and bowed her head. This earthly queen, whose kingdom was vast, knew that she must submit to the true King of kings and Lord of lords. Oh, listen. Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgment as his ways past finding out for of him and through him and to him are all things to whom be glory forever. Amen. So, it's all about him today. Make that your mission. Father, thank you for our amazing 
loving, gracious, merciful God. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, have a great start to your week, a great Monday. Till tomorrow morning, episode 4000. (laughs) This is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.